anticipate the emergence of uh, IoT so quickly. The last one, I, I guess it's very urgent, that is the new initiative that's being done at the United Nations, especially being done by UNECE, United Nations uh, uh, Economic Committee for Europe, and uh, UNESCAPE, uh, United Nations Economic and Social Committee for Asia Pacific. They are doing a kind of a single window initiative. This is something that's relevant to all of us who are doing uh, research in international trade. It's kind of a, a one-stop information submission from business to the government. This is extremely important for the import and export. You, 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 if you do it paperless, it would be so effective. You just submit, send an email to government, and you claim all the customers' requirements. <laughs> so, but I, I'm actually drafting a regional agreement for UNESCAPE, and we're going to have a meeting in Kuala Lumpur next month. I, I want to bring this Internet for Things to that single window. But the government, when they receive the submission from the business, they should think about this kind of uh, RFID, uh, where they even and, and uh, uh, think about this potential and possibility <laughs> and the caveats of this. So, okay, there's a few. Thank you so very much, and it shows that we have really everybody has to widen its perspective. So that it's it's much the field is much larger. There is something behind the horizon. And, but there is something behind the horizon, so the world stops not on the horizon, as we know. Markus. <coughs> when I heard the first time the Internet of Things, I did not even imagine, uh, sorry for my ignorance, actually, I did not even imagine that that was uh, about RFIDs. Yeah, I mean, the, the notion is sometimes really misleading. I was uh, very happy to hear, hear about the Internet of, uh, of Subjects. Because uh, thinking about end user empowerment and uh, also the individual, yeah, it's, it's about very much about security, of course, but also about other aspects. Yeah, uh, um, and I think the discussion now for the last minutes has shown that we are still we have very different pictures about what what this all is about. Yeah.